Hi, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to come on here and address a couple of comments and um, ideas that people have posted to my page, but also I've seen just around um, YouTube, and I've seen this argument for a very long time. So I wanted to have the written word on the screen so that everybody could read this together. The comment that I hear and I see and that people tell me is that it's impossible for us to keep the commandments. They're grievous, they're hard, they're difficult. They were never meant for us to be able to do. So let's read through the, what the commandments are. And then you can ask yourself, is this impossible? And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. All right, here we go. First commandment. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Second, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that take his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is them in, in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that the days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is in thy neighbor's. So, let's go through these, okay? So, when you tell people that it's impossible to keep the commandments, what you're saying is, it's impossible for people not to have, this is believers now, okay, I'm speaking to remnant, people who claim to be walking in spirit and truth. If you are telling another believer who is claiming the blood of Yeshua to cover their sins, you are telling them it is impossible for them not to have any other gods before the Almighty. You are telling them it's impossible not to make any graven images and bow down and worship them. You're telling them it's impossible not to take the Lord's name in vain. You're telling them it's impossible to keep the Sabbath day holy. You're, impo you're telling them it's impossible to honor the father and mother. You're telling them that it's impossible not to kill. It's impossible not to commit adultery. It's impossible not to steal. It's impossible not to lie against the neighbor. And it's impossible not to be envious of what people have. This is what you're saying. You have to think about what you're saying. Keeping the commandments is what we have now in the power. We walk in the power. The Holy Spirit is what dwells within us that enables us to do it. Okay? So we're in 1 John 1, 9. And it says here, If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ the Son cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. However, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and the word is not in us. And it says here in chapter 2, And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. And he that says, I know him, and keep not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we th that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought to walk also as he, also so to walk even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye have heard from the beginning, which we just read. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which the thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past and the true light now shineth. So what is he saying? 
we have a high priest. If we transgress this law, okay, Exodus chapter 20, when the Hebrews transgress the law before the new covenant, which is the new blood covenant, okay, we're dealing with two blood covenants. People get this confused and they say the new covenant means that the Ten Commandments are done away with. This is not true. It's a blood covenant that has changed. Transgression of the Torah, the transgression of the commandments prior to Yeshua coming and dying is they had to offer animal sacrifices and have a high priest go into the Holy of Holies. We now have a high priest who offered his own blood atonement for our sins so that when we transgress these laws or if we transgress them, we then confess that to him. He cleanses us from those sins. If we confess our sins, the transgression of the Torah, that's how, what sin is defined as in scripture. He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So I just wanted to, to show people what they are saying when they are making the claim that it is impossible for us to keep the law. And so it's in 1 John chapter 3. I want to show you confessing sin. What is sin? Whosoever committed sin transgressed the law, for the sin is the transgression of the law. Back in here. If we confess our sins, what is sin? Transgression of the law. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Brothers and sisters, it is not hard or impossible not to steal, not to commit adultery, not to kill. If Paul is, was preaching that the law was done away with, Paul was a murderer of believers. That means he would have continued to murder because it would have been too hard for him to not to murder. That is how ridiculous the argument sounds. That's how preposterous the statement is that we can't keep the commandments of the Most High, Elohim. We are not to have any other gods before him. If we're preaching that people can't have idols in this last hour, what do you think that is? That's the first commandment. So we have to be consistent with the word and following the word and what the letter of the word says. The commandments the word says are not grievous. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is now dwelling in us that is helping us to keep them because they are now written on the fleshy tablets of the heart. These words of old right here. So I just wanted to give you that quick warning and exhortation. Have a blessed day.